hi hope everyone is fine okay in this video we can see how to download ESSI 6.7 and the installation in a fresh hard disk uh, this is the URL to download ESSI I will include it in the description area uh, for logging to this site this is the VMware site uh, we need a username and a password we can sign up with the username a like gmail id or a microsoft id or some other id we can create a id on the password and we can download the software uh, and we can use these products for some around as as a freeware we can use this product for around 60 days or 90 days we can use this thing Actually, this one we need to download. This is the one we need to download. VMware vSphere Hypervisor ESXi ISO image. Okay, this one we need to download. Actually, I downloaded this software in a particular location. It's around 350 MB. Once it downloaded, we can create it as a disk image. Burn disk image. While with the CD, CD also okay, it will work because it's only the size is 350, 350 MB, 343 MB. So a CD is enough. After writing this, we can boot our PC with this disk image. Yeah, I finished writing. I used a DVD. I only have DVD. It's around 370 MB. Okay, I write it. And this is the PC I am going to install this XI. So in this PC I have two hard disks. I am using on 1TB HDD. Another one I have already installed on SSD I have. I have already installed this 6.7. For some experiments I need to install it in on the 1TB hard disk as well. Okay. We will see installing and booting it from this XI. Okay, so let's put it in from here. I select. Oh, well, the ESXi 6.7. I select that the option. So it will loading EXI installer. After loading all the necessary files, it will check for the hardware dependency of the PC. One thing we must care about that thing it is uh, it only take the Intel LAN. For before purchasing the motherboard, we must care about we purchase the a Intel a board with the Intel LAN. So I made a mistake earlier. I bought, I bought a gigabyte motherboard it, it won't support the Intel LAN it is some real tech LAN or something so please take care about that thing we must board with the Intel LAN okay loading all necessary things the installation will finish in I hope it will finish in five minutes Actually, my processor is i7-8700. Uh, it has 6 CPU and 12 logical processor. So, I can install 12 VM in this i7-8700 processor. 
and I have a RAM of 60 GB that is not sufficient uh, I tried to include 32 GB okay welcome to VMware EXS 6.7 installation select the operation okay I want to install it so actually here it shows two options enter continuous so and on the end of Zaro is to school the iPhone F11 to accept and continue. This was the license agreement. Okay, now it starts the devices. In this stage, it starts. Okay, here you can see two hard disks. Uh, it is better to install the SSD for better, uh, fast for fast performance. Everything we can select the SSD. Here in my SSD, it's already I installed in 6.7. Uh, so I am selecting, I have a HDD hard disk, 1 DB Toshiba hard disk. I am selecting HDD. HDD. I select that thing. Continue. Enter. In this video, I am showing uh, how to install in a fresh hard disk. This is not a fresh hard disk, it's already consist of some, I already tried some experience on this hard disk. Anyway, I am trying to install it as a fresh thing. So it's already have the ESXA, so it shows the three options. And this, this also help us if we forget the username and password for the root, then also this will help. help. Suppose if we want to upgrade, then also we will get the option like this, upgrade ESXI and preserve. Uh, VMFS VMFS means virtual machine file system data store install exsi preserve VMFS if it is already there install exsi overwrite all the contents I am selecting the third option by using the space arrow okay I select that I want a fresh installation so I select install exsi and overwrite what are the contents in the hard disk it already have a VMS uh, VMR file system if you install a VM uh, virtual machine at that time it is created in the VM FS VM file system we already know about in Windows and FS that is a file system using in virtual machine the file system using is VM FS virtual machine file system okay US it comes with the US as the default here I need to enter the root password uh, any password I need to give the username will be that the default username will be the root and the password uh, I need to give a password okay I'll just give a password here I give a simple password Okay, it is uh, that the, the disk is this contains some things. It will configure to install EXS on on uh, the disk will be repartitioned. partition. Okay, that's fine. And F11. Okay, the installation will be fast. It won't take much time. Everything together, it, it takes around ten minutes, less than ten minutes. it's already 39 43 48 yeah okay almost finish it is very fast
almost ninety percent is finished. This is so simple to install ESXi. Okay, the installation is finished. Now we can see what the message is showing. 6.7.0 is installed successfully. Remove the installation media before rebooting. Reboot the server, start using ESXi. Okay, I'm pressing enter at that time the DVD will eject. The server will shut down and reboot. Okay, that's fine. I got my DVD back. The server will shut down and process. Okay. Actually, I have two hard disks, so I am. I need to select the which hard disk need to boot. If you have one disk, then it's fine. I'm using a Asus motherboard, which supports the uh, Intel LAN. Okay, here I reach. Actually, again, I need to go to boot menu. Okay, from here I need to select which. Actually, I installed in the Toshiba HDD on TV HDD. I need to select on TV HDD. Okay, I need to select it. Yeah, it is loading. Loading VMware. Every time you look out this screen, it's not all the dependency dependencies and check for the hardware and everything. Okay. Initializing scheduler, VM can load it successfully. It shows my processor or my memory. It shows the release build. It's all the dependencies of is everything is not successfully starting services all the dependency service also is starting okay now we complete the installation in the coming video I will show you how to configure the IP address for so just show how to log in this thing in this video it shows that F2 customized system logs I'm clicking F2 okay it is asking the login name it shows us the root by default the root is the username and I'm giving the password what I so just remember so we need to remember the password what I given earlier I log in the ESXi. This is a desktop. In the desktop I installed the ESXi. It's Asus motherboard. All the uh, my motherboard spec and everything I mentioned in my other videos. Uh, which motherboard I have used to how to how to set up the EX, uh, ESXi for how to set up my desktop PC to install ESXi. Everything I have mentioned in my previous videos. And one thing we must care about purchasing the motherboard it must support the lan intel lan driver okay in next video i will show how to configure the uh, ip address and access via remotely thank you hope you have a nice day bye